Intense moments at the Chattanooga School for the Arts and Sciences last week. This after a lockdown for several hours separated students and their parents. As police searched for the suspect who shot an officer nearby, the students didn't get home until well after dismissal. As News Channel 9's Allison Levine explains today, parents expressed their gratitude to the teachers who kept their students safe and calm while inside. Allison. Lauren, Latricia. After a very stressful end to last week, parents and students welcomed back faculty at the Chattanooga School for Arts and Sciences today with gratitude. For hours, students hid in classrooms, shielded by teachers and other staff. Parents waited anxiously outside. For the principal of CSAS and other faculty, the sole priority was keeping the students safe. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure your children are safe. And they did. That evening, students were released safe and sound to relieved and appreciative parents. Late that evening, I, I got a message from a, from a parent saying that they had started sort of a grassroots effort. So they wanted to thank and show their appreciation for the faculty. It started out small but word quickly spread over social media. It grew into a big day. They've had parents come in and cover the, the teacher's duties during lunch, brought in a feast of food and snacks and things. They had students signing banners for the law enforcement and for the CSAS faculty. And while some parents told us last week they wished the school district told them what was going on inside the school earlier, after a stressful and scary situation, this community is closer than than ever before. The faculty grateful for the recognition. It is nice for the teachers to feel that appreciation and, and to, to just get that little bit of a break. Students presented the Chattanooga Police Department with one of those banners today. CPD tweeted its gratitude for the kindness and the cookies. Aside from a few extra sweets, faculty told me that it's business as usual this week as school prepares for state standardized testing. Lauren. All right, thanks, Allison. Chattanooga Police are still searching for that.